In the quaint and enigmatic town of Willow Creek, there lived an eccentric recluse named Silas Blackwood. With his unkempt hair, threadbare clothing, and piercing gaze that seemed to see beyond the veil of normalcy, Silas was an enigma to the townsfolk. He resided in a dilapidated cottage on the outskirts of town, shunning all social interactions and devoting himself to pursuits that left others scratching their heads. One fateful evening, as the sun cast its golden rays across the cobblestone streets, a stranger rode into Willow Creek. Dressed in opulent robes adorned with arcane symbols, he carried a mysterious chest that seemed to radiate an otherworldly aura. This enigmatic figure introduced himself as Master Aurelian, a renowned wizard from a distant land. Word of Master Aurelian's arrival quickly spread through the town like wildfire. Curiosity and trepidation mingled in the hearts of the residents. Silas, hearing the rumors, was intrigued. Despite his solitary nature, he found himself drawn to the stranger's enigmatic presence. As Master Aurelian took up residence in the town's grandest inn, Silas gathered the courage to approach him. With trembling hands and hesitant steps, he knocked on the wizard's door. To his astonishment, Master Aurelian welcomed him with a warm smile and invited him inside. Silas was captivated by the wizard's tales of ancient lore, arcane knowledge, and distant realms. As they conversed, Master Aurelian revealed that he possessed the secret to unimaginable wealth. He had stumbled upon a lost treasure map that led to a fabled golden city hidden deep within the mountains. Intrigued, Silas agreed to join Master Aurelian on the perilous quest. Together, they embarked on a journey filled with treacherous landscapes, enigmatic riddles, and encounters with mythical creatures. Along the way, Silas's eccentricity seemed to vanish, replaced by a newfound determination and resourcefulness. Finally, after weeks of arduous travel, they reached their destination. Before them lay the gleaming ruins of the Golden City, its walls shimmering with iridescent light. As they ventured inside, they discovered a vast treasury filled with untold riches, shimmering gold coins, priceless jewels, and ancient artifacts. Silas and Master Aurelian emerged from the ruins as changed men. Their lives had been forever altered by the newfound wealth. Silas, once a solitary recluse, became a generous benefactor, using his fortune to improve the lives of those in Willow Creek. He established a school for underprivileged children, donated generously to the local church, and transformed his dilapidated cottage into a shelter for the homeless. As the years passed, Silas's reputation as the Weird One faded into obscurity. He became known instead as Silas the Wise, a man whose eccentricities had led him to a life of extraordinary purpose and fulfillment. And so, the tale of Silas Blackwood, the weird man who got rich, was passed down through generations. It became a legend whispered with awe and admiration, a reminder that even in the most peculiar of individuals, there lies the potential for greatness.